Okay, here's part two of my video right now. I guess there's a limit when I know. This is done on my Xperia, Sony Xperia Play camera phone. So, pretty, pretty un, impromptu. So, danger, RF voltage is in there, so look out. So, there's your tuning. And, move this thing out of the way. See that bing? There you go. This is your, your tuning chart. Basically, it's a good way to do it. Uh, kind of a cheat sheet type deal. Cliff's note. Crystal, your key, your exterior key, your ground. So it's it's pretty simple. You know, you just hook it together and use it friendly. These were well... Uh, Hold on here, got the big one. Oh. These were well received by the troops as I was reading on them. They used them way beyond uh, the uh, Vietnam War. Well, the 60s and into the Vietnam War, they used them as a preferable choice because they were simple. Uh, they were repairable in the field. And they were rugged as all heck. <laughs> Wow, this really smells like electronics. Uh, one of my videos, I'm in Iraq, and um, I come up on this uh, radar truck used by the Iraqi army, and uh, the whole thing smelled like that electronic smell. I, I was in ninth heaven smelling that electron, those tubes and stuff. I don't know if it's good for you, though. But, man, it, smell, it smells good. It's, mm, oh, man, it's a good smell. So, anyway... Here is a uh, label plate. This is your power supply for the unit. I understand this is a big one. The, the better one to have, I guess, for more capabilities. The idea behind this is um, you could capture it like a like a tank battery off of a, a T-series Soviet tank or something over there and have your battery run off of that 6-volt or, or bring your 6-volt with you or whatever you want to do. And... Uh, your hand crank generator or your line voltage if you're like uh, you know behind the lines in East Germany or something you know so uh, <clears throat> there's different opp different opportunities to provide power which is the selling point for me uh, I want the more more options is more more chances you know what I'm saying there's your transceiver power your receiver power your hand generator input that's your hand crank generator I've yet to get one of those for this yet. Um, I do have a newer hand crank generator. I might be able to... Well, who knows. That's another subject. Um, there's desk in. These things have desk in them, so... Helps, uh... Helps against that, uh... My, my, flat, my light's going out. I need to... You got your 6-volt input. Right there. This is your AC volts, right? And your two amp fuse. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, so anyway, if you if you had this over in uh, this stuff over in uh, Vietnam, here's a little walk down memory uh, lane for you. Um, the spare parts box it's just like ammo can but it's not it's got some ribbing and stuff I haven't ever seen on ammo can <clears throat> it's got some spare tubes and stuff in there uh, with that OB2 or whatever OB radioactive tube I try not to open that up too much but they're just packed tubes and things I could probably get into that in another video but I'm gonna keep it simple I'll keep it fresh it's just spare parts and stuff so, if you're lucky enough to come across one of these, uh, at least you'll have a better idea what, what a, a nearly complete set would look like. Um, I say nearly complete, I think there's a few things that, that aren't here. Um, and, uh, like a hand crank generator from one. Um, that was probably part of the basic issue. So anyway, these are obsolete now. It's it's all it's all uh, uh, been superseded by other things. But 
Uh, the only thing I, I, I'm as aggravated about is I don't have voice. I don't have a, a shortwave voice. I just have the uh, Morse. But this is more of a re, uh, reconnaissance or spy or whatever thing where you don't want to be transmitting too much anyway because it could detect you uh, zoning on you uh, from your transmission. So this is more, more of a uh, covert listening type setup. Um, and I guess they had like a, a way of a, a burst key, like you Morse code into a machine and it bursts it over like in a, a very quick transmission as a way of uh, keeping your RF uh, your RF uh, down to nothing uh, so you won't be detected. But I don't have that. That's probably really hard to get a hold of. I don't So I need to study up on this a little more. So as you may have understood... I recently transferred in the signal core of the uh, of the uh, National Guard, um, and so my new uh, MOS since I finished school is going to be 25 Bravo, which is information technology. Kind of cool because I'm already doing some of that on my own, and uh, so this is a, this is good. I'm learning learning all this stuff in my free time, whatever. So this is good knowledge to have, specialized knowledge of things. But wanted you to experience some of this. It wasn't much of a reference on what one of these looked like. Uh, there was a few things, but it was spotty. So here's some good old YouTube for you. Uh, again, this is Military Industrial Museum. Please subscribe. Um, I'm supported by my uh, ad sponsors, so keep that in mind. And uh, other than that, uh, enjoy your American freedom if you got it. If you don't, I recommend getting some. And uh, other than that, you have a good one.